Hey what's up YouTube, it's Dark Venom UK here with a quick look at a game capture using the Elgato Game Capture HD device. Now this device enables you to record gameplay from your PlayStation 3 and your Xbox 360 console. Uh, for the Xbox 360 uh, you connect it up using HDMI cables and for the PlayStation 3 it's a component AV cable uh, both of which are included in the Elgato Game Capture HD pack uh, you also get a USB cable for connecting the Elgato Game Capture device up to your laptop or your desktop computer uh, it's a really great device it allows you to capture in full 1080p resolution uh, at 60 frames per second a recent update has now enabled you to do that whereas previously I think it was 1080i at 30 frames per second but yeah 1080p full HD now uh, really good feature on this as well is what's called flashback recording so if you forget to press record on your gameplay uh, you can basically just scroll back on the uh, like time shift I think it's called time shift your gameplay so if you forget to press record you just drag the slider to where you want to start recording from hit record and it'll basically start recording from that point onwards so it's really really useful um, the Hapag HD PVR2 uh, that's another device that I did actually uh, purchase a couple of weeks ago uh, but for some reason I was having difficulties in uh, capturing at 12 or 13 megabytes per second uh, for, I don't know why um, it wouldn't let me do this, say my PC is a decent enough uh, PC or sh laptop should I say uh, you know shouldn't have any difficulties with it whether it's because it's a new product and Hapag are uh, experiencing some difficulties with it uh, I can't say, um, I've not even researched it on other forums uh, or on YouTube to see if anyone is experiencing similar issues but from personal experience uh, it worked perfectly uh, apart from that issue uh, I just couldn't capture it at the highest quality uh, bitrate that the device would allow me to uh, one of the things about the Hapag PVR2 as well uh, it's worth mentioning is whereas the Elgato has the time shift uh, ability so you can rewind your gameplay and record from there uh, the Hapag HD PVR2 actually has a button on top of it now uh, which you can just basically if you've got it sat underneath your TV uh, just hit record on it and within one or two seconds the recording of your gameplay is initiated uh, and then you just depress the button again press the button uh, and it will stop recording from there uh, now both products come with uh, some great software uh, that enables you to capture your gameplay and also edit your gameplay um, from personal experience again I'd have to lean towards the Elgato uh, HD game capture as being uh, slightly better <clears throat> the fact that I can just record gameplays uh, and then export them into uh, Sony Vegas for editing uh, record these audio tracks with like, Audacity free program you know the Elgato I do much prefer it and I think you will too uh, not only is it really nice in capturing uh, the device itself is about as small as a pack of cards um, or probably the size of uh, say a Galaxy S2 mobile phone if you've got one of them um, comparable in size the Hapag PVR2 is uh, slightly bigger um, but if you've got a lot of space uh, and you can sit it underneath your TV or something then you know it's not much of an issue to be honest uh, say so if I had to go for one of the two though I'd definitely uh, recommend the Elgato uh, just for the reasons I previously mentioned uh, in that I've never had any troubles in capturing to the best or the highest quality should I say on the device which is about 13 megabytes per second now, I know a lot of people tend to record at around 8 or 9 uh, and there's not much noticeable difference uh, but for those diehards amongst you uh, then say the Elgato Game Capture HD may be the device um, <coughs> excuse me that you're looking for really uh, okay well I've got this gameplay up now um, this has not been touched as it's been exported into Sony Vegas 
basically just exported it, rendered it out and uploaded it to YouTube. The only thing I've done with it in Sony Vegas is add the commentary track from Audacity. That's all I've done with it. Add that, add the outro, that's all I've done. What you see here is captured straight from the Elgato device. Uh, if you've not already been viewing this in full HD resolution on YouTube, I strongly recommend you check that out. Uh, just to give you a better impression of what the abilities of the Elgato are like. Okay guys, well thanks for uh, checking out this video and for listening today. Uh, I'll shut up now for the rest of this track, let you enjoy the gameplay. Uh, there's going to be lots more Modern Warfare 3 videos, some FIFA 13 videos, and there's also going to be some obviously Black Ops 2 videos. Um, some trolling, there's going to be quite a lot of trolling as well, so if you're into that sort of thing, find it amusing, then please like, comment and subscribe, uh, and I'll be uploading more videos as we go on. But once again, thanks for listening, thanks for looking, take care and I will see you soon.